Oh my goodness, y'all. I am so excited because for the first time ever on this channel, we are getting to take a look at some motorhomes that are built on Prevo chassis. This here is a Marathon Coach model that is just absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to show y'all. Let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound. And if you are a returning viewer, I'm here at the Florida RV Show. So this is here in Tampa Bay, Florida. I drove all the way from Dallas, Texas to Tampa, Florida to come here to the show so I could show you things like this here that you really only get an opportunity to see in person at a show like this. So I'm really excited. This is a marathon coach. Now this doesn't really have a model number on it because every Marathon Coach model is going to be a one-of-a-kind unit. So this here is a one-of-a-kind unit. Everything they do is all custom builds. It's typically designed to what the customer wants. And there's a bunch of different brands out here that build different motorhomes on these Prevo chassis. So Marathon Coach has their own touch that they put into it, their own worksmanship and things like that. And here you can see the history of Marathon Coach. I'm gonna give you a second to just look down through this. You can see they started in 1983, and then we can run down the line here where you can see the history of their company. Hopefully that was slow enough where if you wanna pause it, you can stop and read that text. I don't wanna run through all of it, but that is the history of their company here. And really excited to show this thing to you. This is one of the only Prevos here that has more of this traditional look kind of has that like retro look where you see this metal siding down through here it looks really cool looks like you know some of the prevos you'll see on the road that might be 20 30 years old or whatever it may be but this is a brand new one now this here we're going to get to the price but we're going to get to the price when we go inside so stay tuned for that this here is a new coach obviously and I don't know if they, if Marathon Coach is gonna build every single one looking like this, but it seems like they have complete flexibility to make it what a customer wants. One thing I really like about these coaches too is like your slide out boxes. These slide mechanisms here are going to allow the slide out box to sit absolutely flush against the wall. And so much of the value in these Prevo motorhomes are just how long these things will be on the road. They are an exceptional chassis for sure. And then the companies that take these chassis and build the motorhomes on top of them, I mean, you are getting a legitimate mansion on wheels. It is really, really cool. Security cameras out here, armless awnings up over the top as well. I'm sure there's solar up on the roof. And then one spot here where I, you can just really see the difference in craftsmanship between this and other RVs. Look at their water compartment down through here. I mean, this thing is so clean, so concise. You can see you have individual shutoff valves for all of your different water components through here. But I mean, it is just next level what you're getting through here. You can see your water tank down underneath there, some of your components. But man, it is just so impressive. You even have a soap dispenser out here, it looks like. So just really seeing the quality there, all of your latches on these doors, so you'll push it closed. And I'm trying not to get my fingerprints on things as best I can. And then it'll, let me get this closed in and then it'll latch shut like so. So that will latch shut like that. Most of the stuff on this side is gonna be like generator and things like that. You'll have a generator that can run this entire unit. You're also gonna have solar up on the roof, I'm sure, and then you'll have your engine on the back. That's why these are called diesel pushers. So your engine will be back here. You're gonna have a 20,000 pound rated hitch here so you can tow off the back because a lot of people with these motorhomes, they will tow a vehicle behind them. So when they get to where they are camping at, they have a vehicle they can drive around. They don't have to haul this big motorhome every time they wanna leave their campsite. Camera on the back as well. And then as you come along this way, this is gonna be where a lot of your storage is along this side. And then you're gonna have more armless awnings up over top, LED lights up there as well. I'm gonna open up one of these doors just so you can see kind of what the storage space looks like here. It's really cool how these doors open up. Let's open this up one time and it's gonna lift up like so. So it has like that, um, you know, that tour bus style of door there that opens up and then really nice construction throughout here. Some battery disconnect switches under here. Some chairs that pull out from right there as well. And then all carpet line down underneath here. So just really, really premium what you get with these motorhomes. And those are just so smooth how those come back down. Try not to get my fingerprints on it. 
really, really smooth. Lights along this side as well. And I'm not gonna get into a lot of the like nitty gritty specs and stuff like that, but obviously if you are interested in a coach like this, contact Marathon Coach because they're gonna help build something custom for you when it comes to these types of motorhomes. You're going to have security camera up front here. This door is incredibly thick. You can just see how thick that door is and what the insulation is gonna be like in these motorhomes. Great quality all just through here. You can see it right before you even step inside this motorhome. And then once you step in, Real quick, before we step inside of this RV, there's something that I'm really excited to talk to y'all about and I actually wanna ask you for a favor. So if you've been here for a while, you know that I pretty much never ask y'all of anything, but I'm going to right now because I started my second YouTube channel, which is called Firmly Unbound. Firmly Unbound is the name of my company and Firmly Unbound is an expression of exploration and freedom in work, play, and faith. And I'm really excited about what's to come on this YouTube channel. There's a link down below in the description of this video and in the comments as well, where you can subscribe to Firmly Unbound. And I pretty much spent the whole last month traveling dang near coast to coast across the United States to show you what it means to live Firmly Unbound. So some exciting video content is coming. Can't wait to see y'all there. Really elegant looking lighting. LED lights up underneath there. And then you have your seats here, the Marathon Coach emblem in there. Gonna have some controls here for the passenger, cup holder, outlets, USB ports. And then for the driver, you're going to have all of your different controls over here. It looks like that has an Allison transmission on it. And then you have your display cameras here and then a traditional gauge cluster underneath there. Your view when you're driving down the road. Pretty interesting how they put this split between the windshield, but you're still gonna get an absolutely huge windshield here great views all throughout. And then as we turn back around, again, every marathon coach coach will be custom, but this one here has a really beautiful look. And although it looks light on camera, it is still very warm and homey in here. This is probably my favorite interior design I have ever seen on a class A motorhome as far as just everything they did all in, in combination with one another with the light colors, but the warminess of it and the hominess of it. I don't even know if warminess is a word, but you know what I mean? It's very warm feeling in here. It feels homey and I love it. One of the details that I really like is look at this. This wall here has like a crystal look to it. I don't even know what material this is, but that is next level on what they're doing there with those accents in the wall. Hopefully you can see that sparkle and shimmer on it. I mean, that is incredible what they did there. This whole panel here is all lit up too, so it just gives more light coming into this area. Absolutely huge windows all the way around too, but so much additional artificial light that is making it feel so warm in here. Now, a lot of this stuff is specific to this exact coach, so the layout of the sofas, tables, things like that but great color that they went with here. Three cushion sofa there, you have a rocker chair here. Nice little like kind of reading table here with storage in it. And then you're going to have back here your fireplace, some additional drawers here. Um, just show you real quick, just like what one of the drawers look like. Cause of course it's all gonna be solid hardwood in here, dovetail construction. And then pretty much everything will either snap closed or have a soft close function. Little storage spot there, some outlets, USB ports there as well. And then look at like this curve to the kitchen counter. Such a unique, one of a kind design. Really nice looking appliances as well. Great color that they went with. And then down underneath here, you can see it's a single basin sink that is huge under there. I'm gonna try not to do too much as well because someone will own this motor home. And I mean, I'd, you get nervous touching anything in an RV like this for sure. Ceiling height in here is great. You also have all of your air. I'm trying to figure out where it's even coming out of. Uh, it's coming out of like up here. So you don't see any ducting here, but it is coming in through this area. I don't know if it's coming through this little spot right here, like through this mesh, but it's feeding in here. You just don't see it. You don't see any vents. So just a really clean look. Lighting all ran down here looks really good. Some additional storage up here. And then look at this table. What a cool looking table design too, that they gave this customer really, really awesome such a unique shape and I love that and then this is like a you know kind of a um, fabric material here on the backrest now another thing that is really cool well let's actually let's not go too fast um, open this up no handles on these doors so they just have these little grooves right there which I like gives it a very clean look 
very good construction all back through there soft closed cabinets magnet latches on those again drawers these will open up and they're all going to be snap in on those right here it looks like it's probably an induction cooktop yep have an induction cooktop there and then you have a pantry space with pull out drawers all through here so these will just pull out and then snap back in and then this area here looks like it may be a pantry but this actually is your refrigerator so the brand on this is this fisher and paykill which i don't know that i've seen that brand before or not i can't recall but really nice look to it love how it just matches with all the cabinetry obviously you would probably expect that in this price point that we're at which we're going to get to the price in just a second don't worry freezer portion there and then this is a bath and a half model. So as we walk back this way, a couple other things to keep coming to mind as I'm walking through. I imagine these tile floors, I'm most certain they're gonna be heated. So you have a heated floor in here. There's these touchscreen control panels all throughout this motor home that are going to give you different controls of lights and slide outs and things like that. Back this way, you're going to have toilet back through here. Nice looking space in this area. This is gonna be your half bath towel rack here to hold your toilet paper and then your sink there with medicine cabinet up above that storage up underneath this sink or i guess i should say down underneath this sink not up underneath it and then medicine cabinet storage there and everything just has this like thick heavy feeling to it where it just feels quality of course real tile backsplash back behind here as well oh yeah i was not supposed to open the cabinets so that's my bad that's my bad we're not going to open any other cabinets so Sorry if I can't show you all the storage, but come back here to the full bathroom. And I absolutely love this shower. This shower is so cool. You can see the shower head in there. And then you have a vent fan up above there. And that also is a shower head in the top as well. So you have multiple different shower heads. That's a real stone, or sorry, a real tile and grout uh, shower that you have in that area. Nice looking space through here. You have storage behind all the mirrors and then directly across from here, you're going to have wardrobe storage with a full body mirror here as well there's also going to be a privacy door here that will open up so or that will close so that you can have your privacy more storage all through here next to the bed and then you have a retractable king size bed in here this is really going to open up the floor space nicely same lighting accents in the ceiling and then an absolutely massive tv in here that looks to be about a 50 to 55 inch screen tv all this storage down through here no um, floor vents so all your heating is ran underneath the cabinetry there storage all through here some nice spots that are cut out for decorative pieces and then you come back to the closet and back in this closet you got your washer dryer in this area plus all this space in here so you can really step up into here you could even like sit on this step to get ready and you have closing rods all the way around and drawers that will pull out plus all this kind of tabletop space here even like spots to plug in like a blu-ray player or something like that back in this area which i'm guessing that's going to be connected to the tv here more control panels all around and this mattress i mean in this bed in general just looks so comfy and cozy all your controls here for everything in the rv is going to be right there so you can control everything while you're in bed as well nice big windows over here in your bed area and of course outlets usb ports and everything like that on the side so very curious your thoughts on what you think about this now i'm sure you're obviously wondering like what the price would be like here the price on this motorhome is 2.8 million so a lot of these marathon coaches here are going to range somewhere between like probably like a 2.5 to 3 million somewhere in that range for something like this and again everything in here is like completely custom it's not no two marathon coaches are going to look alike so if this is something you're actually interested in, I would really recommend reaching out to Marathon Coach. They make some beautiful Class A motorhomes on these Prevo chassis. And that's all I got for y'all. So let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you could see yourself traveling in something like this. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live firmly on bad.